everybody. Welcome back to the House of Floss and Fluff. My name is Carrie. Thank you guys for joining me. Today is Thursday, October 31st. So happy Halloween to everyone. Hope you guys are having a really good day. Uh, yeah. So it's been, I think, about two weeks since my last update. So I hope you all had a great uh, last couple weeks. Uh, things here have been going pretty good. Just busy, but you know, the normal, the normal day-to-day -day grind of being an adult, right? You guys know what I mean. When you when you own a house, own a car, or own cars, and have kids, yeah, always something going on, right? Uh, but yeah, so the, for the most part, everyone's doing really well. Kiddo's doing good with school. Um, so for those that are new, because I know I've picked up a few new subscribers, so welcome, and thank you for uh, checking out my channel. Uh, I have a 15-year-old son. He is a freshman in high school, uh, so this is a new school for him as well, so been a big adjustment this year but he's doing really well um, just got the one class that he's struggling a little bit with uh, which is algebra and we knew that that was that was going to be the case we knew uh, going in so unfortunately he takes after me when it comes to math and math was not my <laughs> strong suit still isn't uh, but no he's doing well uh, we have him set up with a new tutor um, one of the other math uh, teachers there tutors the kids in the morning so he's doing that um, so his first tutoring session was yesterday so we'll see hopefully Hopefully that'll help improve his grades a little bit. Um, yeah. Other than that, he's doing really well. So, husband is doing good. He's just busy with work. Uh, once we get into the holiday season, his work picks up too. So, he's busy, and he's going to be busy <laughs> for the next for the foreseeable future. So, I mean, it's not a bad thing. Uh, and yeah, I've been busy as well. Uh, like I said, having the Etsy shop, and you know, it's kind of a roller coaster, and so was in a little bit of a down and <laughs> downward slide which was kind of nice because I got to stitch more but we're you know ramping back up with the holidays and so that's okay I like being busy so that's good too uh, and then Lucy our Newfoundland she's doing good her ears are still cleared up from from the last uh, little ear infection that she had and she is she's really happy because she's clean so we, she had a grooming appointment on Tuesday so she is freshly bathed and clean and fluffy and so she's happy plus it's cold it has turned cold here. Uh, we did get a little bit of snow, just a dusting. Most of it uh, melted. I think we got what well, we got snow on Tuesday, and most of it melted, you know, by Tuesday afternoon. So, um, but she got to play in a little bit of snow, so she's happy. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so like I said, um, I did want to say you know just a huge thank you to all my subscribers. I know I've picked up a few new ones, so thank you um, to everyone, whether you're brand new or you've been with me since the beginning. I really appreciate that you are taking the time to subscribe to my channel and watch my videos and so yeah thank you very much okay so that was it for life updates um so let's dive into why you guys are here and that is to see what I've been working on um in terms of cross stitch um so yeah I've got some finishes and I've got some new starts and we're going to start with just a little bit of haul because I don't have that much so I figured we'd just start there and, and get that out of the way so I had placed um a pre-order to the cottage needle on Etsy because I wanted to get the new Erica Michaels berry that was out and that one is the Christmas mousse and so this arrived yesterday no Tuesday got here Tuesday isn't that cute I cannot wait to stitch in so the reason I had to get this though there, there is a reason <laughs> for this one um, my mom collected mousse she had stuffed you know stuffed animals and figurines and paintings and wall hangings and she loved moose and so whenever I see anything moose related it makes me think of my mom so I'm very excited to stitch this one and it, it is just cute it is just adorable so I love that and then since I was ordering I went ahead and I picked up the first in the what is it the country cottage needleworks um snow village so I got the first one uh I don't know when I'm going to start these because I'm not quite sure how I want to finish them yet. I don't know. I've been thinking, if I, do I want to do it in one big piece? Do I want to do it separately? I don't know. So I have some ideas, and when I say I have ideas, that usually means <laughs> I have to talk to my husband and see, can we do this? Because it usually involves power tools. And I'm klutzy, so I do not, I, I, I stay away from power tools and I let my husband do that. So he's better at that, it's just safer. So I'll just take those ideas to my husband and be like, can we do this? He's usually pretty good about making the ideas that I have in my head actually come to life. Okay, so then I placed an order to Jen's Stitching Niche. And the whole reason I placed the order is because of this one. And so this is one of the photo booth um, from Bed Creek. This is the snowman one. 
And don't you love that Etsy now, you know, gives you the notifications when shops that you have favorited upload new items because, you know, I needed a reason to be checking my shop, the shops all the time. But anyway, I love this pattern. I have several of this series of the photo booth series, and this was always one of my favorites. I don't know why I didn't buy it before, but um, like I said, Jen's shop had it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to grab that right away. Um, and so in her shop, in Jen stitching niche in her shop, she has, um, it's a certain amount that you spend and then you get free shipping. So I was like, okay, challenge accepted. We're going to get the free shipping. So I got that. And then I got this one from Teresa Kogut. I mean, Teresa Kogut, yeah. It, it, I mean, come on. It's snowman and it's sheep and I had to have it. It's adorable. So I'm excited to start that one. That's, it's just so cute. So this is Unpeaceful Snow. And I just, I love that. Love that. And then... I picked up another berry because thanks to Jen and Candy, I have to stitch all of the berries now. Um, so this is the St. Nick's berry. But I really like him. He's really cute. So that one. And then this is a prayer schooler. Uh, this is Santa's Revisited. It's the 1990, 1994, and 2005 Santas. And I have had this in various carts. I've had this in my 123 cart. I've had this in my Etsy cart from different shops. And I don't know why, but I always just, I didn't get it. I don't know. So I finally was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm getting it. Cause I love this one here. I love the sunflower one. And then I love the little woodland one too. I mean, I like, I like all three of them, but those two are my, are my favorites. So, but I'm very excited to start that one. So starting to gear up and wanting to stitch some Christmas stuff. Still kind of in a fall mood though, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so, oh, last, the last two purchases. We were at Walmart this week and they're starting to put out their holiday fabrics. So I picked up just, just a couple for right now, but I thought this was a really good one. And this is a yard, so, and then I got, this is really, this is just um, back quarter. Is it? Yeah, back quarter. And it's got the Cardinals, I just love that, so got those okay so that's all for haul uh so yeah so we're into finishes for some reason this time of year i feel the need to finish everything everything um i want to i really try to get all of my halloween or small halloween stuff that i can done and so for like i said for some reason right usually this time of year i have a lot of finishes i think last year right around the same time i had like nine finishes i've got seven this time and yeah, I, I don't know, I, I'm still feeling, I feel like this kind of pressure almost to get stuff done. I don't know if it's because we're nearing the end of the year or it's just, these are the holidays that I decorate for a lot. So I'm like, I just need to get stuff done. And I wanna get some, I really wanna get some just normal fall things and Thanksgiving things done. So that way I can start to replace the Halloween stuff. <laughs> Cause I'll warn you guys, now that I've been doing videos in front of my shelves, the Halloween stuff is probably going to be out for a little bit yet. I know, I know, today's Halloween, but uh, we usually don't decorate for Christmas until after Thanksgiving. Um, so that's why I've been trying to stitch some Thanksgiving things so I can kind of switch stuff out. But I like having the Halloween stuff out, so I'm not going to lie. It might be here for a while. Um, but anyway, so I do have some Halloween finishes, a few fall finishes. Uh, so yeah, we'll dive into that. First one is a punch needle finish, and I literally, I think I finished this about 20 minutes before I sat down to record the video. I fully finished it. Um, and so this is, this is a pumpkin. I believe his name is Abel, I, or hold on. There are two patterns, uh, Cain and Abel. And I believe this one is Abel. And these are from thepumpkinlady.com and these are free patterns. So I will put a link to her webpage um, in the description box underneath the video. Aren't they, isn't he cute though? Oh my God, I think he turned out just adorable. And then I just backed him with some gray felt and I did put the little spider button on him because yeah, I just think he's adorable. So the call for colors in this were Veldani and I didn't have any of them. So I just used DMC. Um, my husband helped me pick out a uh, DMC that was similar in, in shade to the Veldani that was used. Uh, we were at Joanne's when we did back to school shopping and he helped me pick out the colors. So finally got him punched. And I just did, um, since I, I punched him with three strands of floss, 
So I just did three different colors. Um, can't even remember exactly what the colors were. It was like an off-white, an orangey color, and a silver. And that's what made him made him very so variegated. But yeah, I love him. He's so cute. And I will say though, if you follow me on Instagram, I did post a picture. So I ended up having to rip out a good portion of him and repunch him because for some reason, I do this, and I don't know why. I forget that when I'm doing the when I'm doing the variegation like this, where I'm using different colors to get the you know the the variegated look that I want. Every now and then, I'll go in and I'll just throw in a patch of solid color, right? Well, I ended up doing a huge patch of just solid white, like that went around his eye, and it just wasn't blending at all. So I ripped it all up. And repunched it. Uh, and ripping out punch needle is very easy. I mean, you just pull and it all comes out. So, yeah. So, but I'm happy with him. Very, very happy with him. And I filled him with. There's a little bit of polyfill in here, kind of towards the top, and then the rest is um, rice. So, he's kind of he's he's mushy. He's really mushy, but he's really cute. Like I said, and it, it's a great um, great pattern. She um, that pumpkin lady. I uh, can't remember what her actual name is. But she does some really, really nice patterns. And like I said, she's got several free, several free punch needle patterns on her website, all um, pumpkin or Halloween themed. So, okay. So there's, that's him. And then I have two patterns that are both by Joyce Reed. They're both designed by Joyce Reed and they are both in the 2019 fall issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. And they were both stitched on Ozenberg linen that I dyed in a little bit of coffee with just a touch of vanilla um, in there as well. So the first one is called Salem Mass, and it's this cute little witch. Isn't she adorable? I love her. I do, I just love her. And so like I said, I stitched her on the Ozenberg linen. Um, I stitched her one over two, and I believe I used all of the called for DMC in this. I think, I think I did. Oh wait, no, I didn't, I'm sorry. I did change her skin tone. Um, can't remember. I can't remember if I didn't have the color or I just, this was a color that I picked. I don't know. But anyway, I love it. And all I did was I cut it out and then I frayed the, the linen and then I just attached it with a running stitch onto a piece of fabric and then I just made it into the pillow. And this is just a um, homespun, red homespun that I got at Walmart. So, but I love it. I do. I love this one. And I love this homespun this fabric. Oh, it's really pretty. Just really pretty. And I think it, it works good because it can work for Halloween, fall, Christmas, you know, it's one of those really good universal fabrics. They're not universal, but just one of those that you can use for a lot of different things. <laughs> okay. So this other one, like I said, is another Joyce Reed. This is called Harvest Blessings. And this is the one with the pumpkin on it. Isn't that cute? I think it turned out really nice. I really like it. And this is attached to an old cheese grater. This was an old cheese grater that we had. Um, I had actually been using this when I made candles, which was like six or seven years ago. I used to make soy candles. And I would um, I would use it to make some wax shadings that I would decorate the tops of my candles with. But anyway, so I just cleaned it up a little bit and yeah, I love it. And so this is attached with a magnet so I can take this off and put something else on here if I want to. Um, but what I did is I just attached the stitched piece and the backing fabric, which is just a plain black fabric with a little bit of gray in it. I attached them both to sticky board and then the stitched piece has just a little bit of batting on it to make it just a little puffy. And then what I did is I took some raffita and I took, I don't know, like five or six pieces of it and held it together and then I just tied little pieces of DMC or not DMC, but just floss. It was, um, Sullivan's floss that I had left over and just periodically throughout, I didn't measure or anything just to keep it together. So that way I could use it to wrap around the whole piece. I made the ribbon out of the raffita. And then of course, am I, I might be saying that wrong. I don't know. You guys know what I mean though, right? That raff, you, yeah, raffita stuff. Anyway, um, <laughs> sorry. I made a bow out of that. And then I, of course I put the the um, button in the center like I always do and then I had some silk flowers left over from the floral arrangement that I had made and so I just these are just set in here so these can come out too um so like I said I can totally redo this for 
another holiday, but I love it. And I think it's straight on here. I don't know. Might've gotten bumped. I swear it's straight. Uh, I, I've been using my guillotine cutter. My husband bought me a guillotine paper cutter for my birthday and I love that thing because I can't cut straight. I can't. I can't cut straight. I can't draw st oh, a straight line with a ruler, but at least with the guillotine cutter, it gives me a fighting chance to get a straight line. So yeah, so I love that. So like I said, these two were both um, by Joyce Reed. They're both found in the 2000. 19 fall issue of punch nail part of the stitcher magazine and they're super cute and i think i used all of the called for dmc on this one as well i think i don't think i changed anything on this one so they're very cute okay so there's those so then the next one is called um good witch this was by um sub rosa designs and this can be found in the 2017 fall issue of punch nail primitive stitcher magazine and this is stitched on Osenberg linen as well. That was um, dyed in coffee and just a little bit of vanilla. Isn't she cute? I love her. So I did change all of the colors on her. Um, her dress is done in Barnwood from Color and Cotton. Her skin tone, her hair, and the blue, the lettering, that is all most sale. And then the dog down here, I believe, is 640, I think. Um, cause he originally, he was called, he was, um, charted to be the same color as her skin tone, which was like an ecru. I think it was ecru. Um, so I just changed him to, to a little darker gray. And then I did use, um, Jen, uh, Jen Upton had given me some Krennic, Krennic. I know there's a proper way that you're supposed to say that. And now I can't, for the life of me, I cannot remember how you say it. Um, but anyway, she'd given me a couple spools of Krennic. And so I used this ice blue one for the Smyrna told you guys, wow, I'm having to pronounce a lot of things today that mm -mm. Smyrna, 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 whatever you guys know, right? The, the little star things, um, that go in her dress. So I use the ice blue Krynik for that, but I love her. She's cute. And then she is just, I use the, um, this is the backing fabric that was on the harvest blessing, the one with the pumpkin. So it's black with the gray cloudy looks like a looks like a cloudy night sky and then I just use this is just um, a little bit of leftover Osenberg that I put on here and I tried to do the fancy um, blanket stitch is that what it's called yeah I think so and I was I was getting the hang of it a little bit but I don't know every now and then it just kind of got away from me but it's okay it's cute and this is filled with warts so it's really nice and squishy because it's just filled with leftover bits and pieces of little bits and pieces of fabric little bits and pieces of floss so my art jar is empty again. So, okay. So there's that. Then we have, hold on. Oh, got stuff all over on my table here. Okay. So up next, this is the acorn sampler, which was designed by Nikki's creation. And this can be found in the 2017 issue of punch needle and primitive stitcher magazine. And oh my God, I love this one. I think this one is my favorite one that I have finished this year so far. I absolutely love this. Um, so this metal is, um, we got these at our local antique shop. Uh, my husband is pretty sure these were um, like ceiling tiles. I think they went like that kind of, I don't know. But anyway, um, I have two of them. And so this is on here with magnets. So again, I can take this off and I can put another seasonal design on that. And that is all thanks to Priscilla, um, the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. She does all the stuff with magnets and it's a great idea, you know, reuse stuff. Anyway, so I, I, um, I used, uh, again, two pieces of sticky board. I wrapped, this is kind of um, fall leaves. It's very pretty backing fabric. And then I did use a little bit of batting on this piece just to give it a little bit of a poof to it. It, it has twine around the edges. And then I went out and I collected some sticks and just tied those together. I did have to use hot glue to get the sticks down. Um, I so I just tied them in the center and then glued them to this backing board here. And then I just put the, the bow on there, got two different little bows. And then of course the big, the big button, cause I love the buttons. And like I said, this thing has three um, rare earth magnets on it because I was not thinking. So the center part of here, is actually depressed. And so what did I do? I went ahead and I stuck a rare earth magnet right in the center of this piece. Yeah. 
<laughs> the center is depressed in. And so the magnet wasn't even touching the metal, you know. So I had to go ahead and I took two, I had two smaller magnet, uh, rare earth magnets. And so I put them on each side on the top and stuck that on there. And that's holding it on there very well. So, but, oh my God, I love that. Look at those squirrels. This has started my obsession now where I want to stitch all the squirrels. I don't know why. I really don't like squirrels all that much because they're kind of, you know, a pain in the butts sometimes. They can be. They can be destructive, but um, they're adorable when they're stitched, aren't they? They're so cute. Um, and I used I used some of the called fours in this. I did. I used all DMC, but I did change a few of the DMCs because I just didn't have them on hand. So, but adorable. I love it. So like I said, this is Acorn Sampler by Nikki's Creations, and it is found in the 2017 fall issue of Punch Needle and Print and Stitcher magazine. Okay, and the last two. So the last two pieces are ones that I tarted. Um, so this was a uncounted cross stitch. This was the first uncounted cross stitch that I did. And it's just a cute little fall pillow. And I used the same. So this is the backing fabric that is on the acorn sampler. And it's just pretty fall fabric. And again, I used um, I used a little bit of leftover Osenberg to uh, close the pillow. And this is filled with um, a little bit of orts and uh, polyfill. But like I said, so this was the uncounted cross stitch pattern. Um, so what I did is I took this pattern, which I had just drawn on the fabric. Um, so I took that as my idea and I made a free pattern for everybody. So if you go to my blog, which is craftingpaws.blogspot.com, you'll find this cute little free fall pattern. And so I took the inspiration like I said, I took the inspiration from my uncounted piece that I had drawn on here and I made it into a counted cross stitch piece. And so I stitched this on a 14 count Ada that I had hand dyed and it's using mainly DMC. There is one Cosmo thread in here, but I mean, you can use whatever threads you want, but it's super cute. And like I said, it's a little, just a cute little free pattern. I'm very happy with how this one turned out, except I will say I made a major boo-boo <laughs> when I went to finish this. So I've wrapped hoops before with, um, what have I done? I've done embroidered floss. I've wrapped them with fabric. I've wrapped them with, um, ribbons, you know, I've painted them. I've done a lot, you know, with, with embroidery hoops. And so I had this great idea of let's wrap this embroidery hoop in twine. So I took, this is a five inch embroidery hoop and I wrapped it in my twine and it's, it's a fairly thick twine. It's what I use, you know, when I go around borders of, of things. Um, and I didn't think anything of it. So I, I got done, I wrapped the whole thing and I used a little bit of super glue. You know, I always use super glue when I, when I do that kind of stuff, it really holds it in there very well. So I was not gonna get this twine back off, right? And I go to put it onto the piece and put the inner hoop in and it won't fit. I didn't think about how much bulk this twine was gonna add to the hoop. So all I did is I just took it, I closed it all the way up and then I cut out um, a piece of um, mat board and I wrapped my cross stitch piece onto the mat board put a piece of felt on the back to hide to hide the, the mess that is the cross stitch piece on the mat board I'm not gonna lie um, and then I just glued the hoop down to the front of the piece so it turned out really cute and then I put all the buttons on there because you know I love buttons <laughs> I do I love buttons on everything so I'm really pleased with how it came out. Like I said, it wasn't exactly what I was expecting, but I think I still think it's very, very, very cute. So, okay. So those are my finishes. So I'm very happy that I was able to get that much stuff done. In fact, I got enough done that I had to clean off the top of my desk so I could have another display for this stuff because I don't have room anymore behind here. <laughs> so, okay. So on to my um, new starts. I... I've started some new things because I want, like I said, I want to get some things done for Thanksgiving so I can have some decor out for Thanksgiving. Okay, so I started Spent Creek. This is one of the photo booths. Um, this is Pilgrim Pals. And this one I bought as an entire kit. So it, um, these come with the pattern and they'll usually come with if there's beads or buttons and the fabric. But this one that I bought came with everything. It had the floss, everything. So I was like, okay, yeah, let's start that one because I don't have to hunt for anything. So I always have a small start on this. And this is a 32 count linen. 
And I believe all of, um, let's see, it's Weeks and Gentle Arts, and there might even be a Crescent color in there, but so there's a little bit of a mix of everything. But that is my start, and I started on the, this is the third block. So, got a little bit, this is the turkey right here, start of the turkey, so. So that's cute, it's fun to stitch on. I think it's gonna be, that's gonna be a really cute one when it's done, so. There's that. And then this is, so I'm going to insert a picture in a second here. So I started a piece from, let's see, this is from the 2018 fall issue of Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine. It's another Joyce Reed pattern because apparently I am obsessed with her stuff. I, I do. I love it. It's called Prim Turkey. And so I'm going to insert a picture of what the overall pattern will look, right, will look like right here. Okay. Okay, and then this is my tiny little start. <laughs> Hold on, I'll open that. There we go. So I got the house, the tree, and the pumpkins. So it's actually it's not a huge it's not a huge pattern, you know. So I should have that done fairly quickly. And I am changing a lot of the colors. I have a I think I used one or two of the called four DMCs, and then the rest I just grabbed from my fancy floss stash that I have. So and this is. The rest of the Osenberg linen that I have that I coffee dyed. So, so that should be fairly quick. I hope. I hope. I say that. I always say that. That oh, that should be really quick, right? Um, and then I started. Uh, this is Thankful Quaker. This is another Bent Creek. So pretty. Very very pretty. And this one called for General Arts, um, mainly General Arts, uh, two weeks and one crescent color. And I think I had. I might have had a couple of the called fours, but I did end up changing changing out some of them. And I'm stitching this on a 40 count. This is, oh, where's the tag? Uh, 40 count sampler khaki. I believe this is an extrude design that I got from Teresa on the kitten stitcher. And, oh, sorry, I'm holding that wrong. I always do that. That is the way that it goes. So I've got the word thankful and started on people there, and I've got a little bit of the border. So, but I really like working on 40 count and this is really pretty. This is such a pretty color. So I'm excited to get that one done. I'm excited to get all this stuff done. I think I've said that after every piece now, but I am, I am. I'm excited to have some Thanksgiving stuff done. Okay. So the last new start, I started this one yesterday and it is by Roveris and I will insert cause I have just, um, working copy of it. So I'll insert what the picture, um, what the overall picture will look like here of this pattern. It's called Harvest. It's very pretty. Okay. And there is my start on this one. And I am changing. I changed all the colors on this one. And I'm stitching this on a 40 count. This is Lakeside Linen Exemplar. And I love the leaf there. So I changed mine to Brick from Weeks Dye Works because I wanted the red leaf. I love the red maple leaves when they turn. Unfortunately, they turn first and so they fall off first. And so you don't really get to enjoy them for that long, but they're so pretty. So I love that. And then this green is a um, Victorian motto. It is Headless Horseman, or no, is it? I think it is Headless Horseman. I think, hold on. It is, yeah, it is Headless Horseman 2. So, but I love it. it. It's just, I think it's gonna be so pretty. And then they showed this one finished as a drum and I really wanted to make a drum. So I am hoping to turn this into a drum when I'm done stitching it. Plus it has squirrels. So, you know, it's ticking a lot of boxes. It has squirrels and it, it's finished as a drum. So we'll see. Okay, so that's what I've been working on. Um, I, like I said, I started those four new things with the hopes of having them done um, in time to be out for Thanksgiving. So um, probably next I'll well, probably, probably, I keep saying probably, um, I'm going to start on some Christmas stuff, I think. I think. We'll see. Okay, so last couple things. I did, I haven't dyed a whole lot of fabric lately, but I did go ahead and I dyed a little bit of um, the Ossenberg just because I wanted to see um, what it would look like. And so I just threw it in some writs. This is navy blue writ, and like I said, this is the Osdenberg. 
and it's already kind of an off-white color so but you know I just did the mason jar dyeing I love it I, I really like this color so I like that one and then I just threw this one in some charcoal gray and so it's not it's not super dark it's pretty light actually but I like it I like this is a really big piece and I used um, pint jars this time because this stuff really um, crunches up well I mean it really bunches well so I wanted to oh hold on please one second and we're back sorry about that <laughs> anyway so I was talking about this last piece um, this one I dyed with charcoal gray like I said this is the Osmond linen and so it's already kind of a natural color and I was what I was saying is that I used pint mason jars this time because this stuff really scrunches up really well uh, and so I wanted to make sure that I was able to get some modeling on it so I just used a smaller jar um, but yeah I like this one I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna dunk this one in anything else or not I think if I do anything to it I might um, coffee dye it a little bit but so yeah for my first time dyeing the Osenberg I'm very happy with how it came out so so that was that okay so now we are on to uh, giveaway so I picked out um, two things for the giveaway so okay so as always when it comes to giveaways same these are the rules I think it's the same rules pretty much everywhere please be 18 or older because I will need your address um, please be a subscriber to my channel um, please do not say giveaway or free in your comments because I will have to delete that and let's see the giveaway is open to anyone so anyone can um, can reply and what I will do is I will give you the um, prompt of all you have to say is I want to stitch whatever and um, that will enter you in the giveaway okay so I picked out like I said I just picked out two things um, one I did pick out is a Christmas one this is Christmas stitching and this is from Leisure Arts it's leaflet number 197 and it has a whole bunch of Christmas ornaments there's a lot of Christmas ornaments in this 48 designs so there's some that are very they're very cute um, let's see let me see if I can find a date on here I'm just curious 1981 so but still, there's some really cute, I mean, it's Christmas ornaments, so. Okay, so if you would like to win this one, just say, I would like to stitch the ornaments, and you will be entered to win this book, or this leaflet, like I said, just so I want to stitch the ornaments. I'm going to get this one. Okay, and then I grabbed, this is a Cross Stitch Crazy, and this is issue number 198. It is the January um, 2015 issue, and it is this one. And I, this one has the, the polar bear. I always thought that was such a cute, such a cute pattern. Um, let's see if I can flip through here real quick for you. Um, oh, well this has, this is rhyme time. And it has these, these little nursery rhymes that they made into the wall hanging. That's really cute. That's very cute. And let's see if there's anything else I can come up with really quick shake. Oh yeah. Isn't that adorable? That is so cute. They called it um, Winter's Night. Oh, that is so cute. Okay. So if you want to win this, just say, I want to stitch the polar bear because I, I just love that little polar bear. So if you want to win the Cross Stitch Crazy um, issue number 198, I want to just say, I want to stitch the polar bear and you'll be entered to win this one. And like I said, if you want to win the Christmas one, just say, I want to stitch the ornaments. Okay, and we'll pick the winners um, in my next video, which will hopefully be in about two weeks, okay? All right, so I think that's everything. So I hope everyone has a fantastic night tonight if you're going out trick-or-treating. Um, I hope you guys, everyone is safe, and I hope you guys get lots of candy, or your kids get lots of candy, I don't know. Um, I used to sneak a little bit of candy when ours went out because, you know, we had to walk them around, so, <laughs> right? Get a little treat. Um, but yeah, no, so I hope you guys have a fantastic um, Halloween tonight. Uh, be safe, and I hope you guys have an amazing upcoming weekend. We're, it's Thursday, so we're creeping up on the weekend. And don't forget to fall back this weekend. We get, we get our hour back, so. I know, I kind of wish they would just, just pick a time, and let's just stay with that. But anyway, that's a whole other story, right? So, 
thank you guys so much for joining me today and for listening to me ramble about my cross stitching and I really appreciate it. And like I said, I hope you guys all have an amazing night tonight. Hope you guys have a fantastic upcoming weekend and I will see you guys in a little while. Well, hopefully in a couple weeks. Okay. <laughs> Bye everybody.